Stand clear. Our business does not concern you, Long Legs. Pepin will be back momentarily with the tome, and then we will be on our way. Until then, do not interfere. It is called the Tome of Contrition, and it is a record of gnomish experience throughout the ages. But that is all I can say. To reveal more could be detrimental to our expedition. Now, if only Pepin would return from undersea fasting. A dread cloud hangs above this island. I can feel it. The Tome of Contrition was stolen by the Deverga in one of their barbaric raids. During the Edessa migration, we gnomes transported many artifacts from across the seas to the Great Library. The temptation was too much for such savages. But of all the relics lost to us, the Tome of Contrition is the most important. It is not my place to explain, and not yours to know. I will put it this way. The loss of such a book could do irreparable harm. I'm not sure. Obviously, I cannot pursue him. It is my duty to stay here, to see to our higher purpose. But something must be done. Pepin's tardiness is a concern. Fine. Yes. It is decided. You may find Pepin, and you will be rewarded for doing so. But I accept no responsibility for your safety. None whatsoever. It is inland, beyond the cliffs. We have made our camp here so as not to arouse suspicion in the villagers to the east. Castaways are an excitable breed. I am aware of him. The comings and goings of barbarous rabble is not my province. The fact that I am here on this rock at all is proof that I've somehow offended my superiors. It is torture. They'd sooner burn a book for warmth than learn how to build their own fire. The sea dwarfs have no respect for what we hold dear. They aren't fit to walk the earth. That is why they're exiled to the oceans. I am Templar Tenses, here on behalf of the Basilica Nostra. The work of scholars is not usually my concern, but the Tome of Contrition is a particularly sensitive item, and its fate is of an importance far beyond academics. Tracking the Tome to this location was a monumental effort on the part of our scholars and mariners. Piracy is a dirty business, and I prefer to retrieve what we came for and depart. I find this sort of setting to be rather agitating. So sinister. well, but neither his intellect nor his discipline are up to the caliber of even our weakest scholars. Pepin is perfect for tasks like this one, of the run and fetch variety. The tome was taken from one of our relic galleys during the migration to fill the great library of Edessa. As it always is with the De Verga, they had no idea of the worth of what they'd taken. It is the closest the Deverga on this island had to a vault. Their most valuable plunder is stored deep in its dark and dripping corridors. Goodbye. brings you down here? Oh, I see. Leave it to Templar Ten says to send me an assistant. And a lofty one at that. She has no confidence in me. Never has. There's no need for aid. I have the situation under control. Mostly. Just wait. 
When I'd return, tome in hand, she will have no choice but to boast of my valor. Everyone believes I'm a failure, but I will prove my worth. It's in the chamber at the end of this passage. We might need to find it among the other treasures, but our facts indicate that the tome is there. I've never heard of a dead cow. Is it a species of algae? Plankton, perhaps? Is that where we are? No one would tell me where we were going. Typical. I've labored long and hard to reach the rank of scholar. Don't let anyone tell you different. Everyone will. I assure you. The Templar Tan says not tell you? No, she wouldn't, would she? The Tomb of Contrition is where our wisest leaders record the mistakes they've made in the name of progress. The instances of frailty, of weakness. Such knowledge prevents our kind from repeating its greatest mistakes. With it, we are able to move forward, not wallow in the past. As you can expect, the contents of this book are quite damning. I can't seem to find my way in these vast, convoluted passages. I don't know how the Varga ever did. The treasure chamber is somewhere down here, but I've yet to discover it. Templar will see. I swear it. Ugh! <laughs> 
Templar will see. Uh, this old ruin won't last much longer, I'm afraid. We'd better move quickly. This is not a joke, Scott. It would be you, wouldn't it? I should have known Pepin would fail. He's never done otherwise. Well, the expedition has proven successful, and that is all that matters. This is one mistake that will not make its way into the Tome of Contrition. That is certain. Now we must depart. It is a long voyage back to Edessa. A pity our vessels are built for the gnomish frame. Otherwise, I might have brought you with us. Yes, it is quite a pity. Be gone now. This tunnel's going to be a big job. All of this should do quite nicely, yes. Now I'll need the time to work. Give me a bit and then return. I'm close, but the tunnels remain closed at this time. Goodbye. The tunnels have been cleared, my liege. You are free to roam Gallows End to your heart's contentment. As far as exploring the island goes, I would recommend bringing on Zephwin Lan from Cape Solace as your scout. I think you'll like what I have planned next. A vast library! Just imagine! A monument to the wisdom of the ages, standing there beside the main structure, beckoning the unenlightened. But first, I'll need you to get me three bundles of bear hide, three bundles of ember wood, and four bundles of sailcloth. Yes, one of them mentions a library. At first, I was confused. 
I found many books, but not enough to warrant a whole building. But my dream again provided the answer. This part of the dream didn't make sense until now. I saw stacks of books, heard strange voices in tongues unknown to me. I believe this library was to be a center for translating arcane and lost languages. It's going to be a tribute to knowledge, one that will drive a Dessa to envy. Zephwin has provided me with possible locations of the materials. I'll be ready to start as soon as you get back. When you have all the materials on my list, I can begin construction. We're making great progress and finding more books than I expected to fill the shelves. However, most of them need to be translated. If nothing else, this building will nicely balance out the armory on the other side. Zephwin seems quite happy with his tunnels, and we're certainly collecting more salvage and saving more castaways than ever. I've never known a more adventurous man than Zephwin. He is, without a doubt, the finest scout and ship spotter in Cape Solace, or anywhere, really. We're fortunate to have such a man. Goodbye. <laughs>